This video is not about cool effects, HDR looks, freaky amazing details. I will show you now my way or my technique, what I use when I prepare my images for the web. So my goal is to upload an image on the web and uh, my goal is to have an image with a great quality, with a great sharpness. And uh, so let's get started. The first step what I do is I will make the image smaller. You can do that by clicking on image, image size. And then you can type in here your final pixels, the size of your image. Most of the time when I upload images on my website, I choose, yeah, most of the time 1,500 pixels, so a little bit bigger. And when I upload my images in uh, different kind of communities, 500 pigs or um, Facebook, most of the time I choose 900 pixels. Um, when I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about here about a landscape shot. In portrait mode, I choose uh, a width of 600 pixels and a height of 900 pixels, something around this. All right, so here is the most important part. At the moment, I'm working with the latest Photoshop version. And with the latest Photoshop version, you have here automatic. And you have to change this. I mean, you have to change this if you um, like to do the same workflow what I do in preparing my images for the web. When you have older versions, when you're working with uh, Photoshop CS5 or older versions, then uh, you will have this uh, Bcubic Smooth Gradients. And this is um, the option what I like to use. When you have automatic, and if you click then OK, Photoshop will see, oh, you made your image smaller, we will sharpen the image for you. And this is something what I don't like to have. So I choose Bcubic uh, Smooth Gradients, and when I click OK, I have to sharpen the image. Because with uh, this step, when I make the image smaller, the edges and the sharpness, well, it gets a little bit more blurry. And now I can sharp my image. So think about this. And when you go to image, image size, and when you don't like to click every time to smooth gradients, you can change this in the preferences. So click on Photoshop and preferences. And in the general section, you can see here image interpolation. And right here, you can choose for the future, every time when you make an image smaller, please choose be cubic best for smooth gradients and click OK. And next time when you make an image smaller, you have this kind of settings. But when you choose this, you have to sharpen the image because the image looks now a little bit blurry. And now I will tell you my settings when I sharp an image for the web. So I go to filter. I choose my Unsharp Mask filter. I love this filter. And right here, I choose a radius of 0.2 every time. And the amount, it depends a little bit on the image. Most of the time, I use an amount of 200 to 300%. For female portraits, I use an amount of around 200%. But when I have a strong or edgy and, and rough image, Sometimes I choose 300%. In this case, let's choose something around 240 or close to 250%. So I click OK. When I upload now this image in the web, the sharpness is great. Another tip is when you upload an image on 500 pigs on your website, you can choose the JPEG file or the JPEG format. When I save my images uh, for Facebook, I choose the PNG file. Don't ask me why. Um, a year ago, somebody told me this and uh, I made good experience with that with this file. And every time when I upload it on Facebook and PNG, everything looks fine. But you can search a little bit in Google for uploading pictures on Facebook. There are much tutorials out there. They recommend special size of the image. I upload it every time in 900, 920 pixels, something around this. But when I say for PNG in Facebook, everything is fine. And on other platforms like Behance, 500 pigs, or my website, I use the JPEG format and uh, it works fine. So this is my way to make images a little bit smaller and to sharpen the image, uh, images for the web.